place at the right time and it's a testament to the people that came before me you know we've had four um four full-time presidents in the past 25 years we've got staff that have been here for 25 years you know both the kelly's kelly birmingham kelly opponent both been here that long and their dedication to what the chamber does and their belief in what we're doing is why we're here today Oh, yeah. congratulations to the chamber for 50 years cheers. 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 cheers yeah i remember him well a little bit of background, I was a history major in college, so I love historic information. I love to dive into that kind of stuff. And honestly, the best thing that, I, that happened to us was um, Kelly Birmingham contacted John Dwyer, who's actually going to cut the ribbon for us today. And John was the, the, the last chamber president for the Batavia Chamber. And he, he was, along with Jim Gordon from Leroy, was one of the two main guys that, that you know, were responsible for making this all happen. Just sitting down with, with Mr. Dwyer, and if you know him, it was a good two and a half, three hour meeting. Um, he brought in a scrapbook with information that his wife had made. It, it was absolutely unbelievable. It, it, was, it was fantastic. He only talked about Notre Dame University about 15 times. But other, from there, we just started diving into our archives and, and they've done a really nice job over the past 50 years of keeping things. We actually found a funny story. Yesterday we were going through some stuff and I found the original deed in 1895 when P.W. Miner bought their first factory in Batavia from the Huff family. Well, kind of, um, we've kind of shifted our focus to two things. One is, is, is a more of an emphasis on small business and how do we help our small business owners, retail shops downtown, you know, those types of things. How can we be there for them and support them? And the second thing is the whole work, live, play mentality. You know, we've got the GCEDC putting major properties in all across the county and dealing with that. Well, once those folks are here, how do we help them? How do we ensure that we've got the recreational entities, the places to live, the things to do, and how do we help promote our local businesses so when people do come here, they do want to stay here, they do want to live here. It, um, and that's really, you know, Tom Turnbull set us up when COVID first hit and the decisions they made as a chamber on how we're going to support local businesses, whether that's through, you know, providing workshops on how to, how to apply for PPP loans or other government loans that came through, idle loans, those types of things, as well as positioning the staff to continue to reach out to our members and ensuring that they have what they need to be successful and helping them out in any way, shape, or form. And then as the time came to reopen, it was, it was embracing the concept of not doing what, what was done before, but what can, what can be done be different and better? And how can the chamber change to become different and better? And you know, promoting, supporting, and connecting with our members. 